Hi, I'm Dr. Lois Frankel with another tip for how you can tell people to go to hell so they look forward to the trip. And today I want to talk about something that people have often asked me about, and that is how do you deal with whisper campaigns? You know, when people are talking behind your back? You definitely need to address this, and you can't do it in a confrontational, angry way, because that's not going to help you. And you also can't do it in a oh, poor me, pitiful way, because that's not going to help either. Instead, what you want to do is deal with it in a direct, straightforward way that attaches expectations and consequences. So, for example... If I heard somebody was talking about me and saying the quality of my work really wasn't that good and they didn't want to work on a team with me, I might go to that person and say this. You know, I'd like to talk to you about something that I heard, and where I heard it from isn't really important. But I did hear that you've been saying that the quality of my work is not that good and you don't want to be on a team with me. And I just want to understand if that's what you really think. Now you're going to pause here because you're going to let them respond. And it doesn't matter what they respond, because your response is going to be one of two things. If they say, oh, I never said that, then you're going to say back, oh, well, that's good to know, because I really think the quality of my work is great. I'd be happy to share it with you, and I'd love to work on a team with you too. Right? Now, that puts them on notice that don't mess with me, because the quality of my work is good, and I don't want to hear anything more about this, right? If they say, well, as a matter of fact, I, I heard the same thing through the grapevine. I was just repeating what I heard. Then what you're going to say is, oh, okay, well, there's obviously a misconception because the quality of my work is actually quite good. And I'd be happy to talk to you about how I go through my work day and what I do and the heavy emphasis that I place on quality and I would love to find an opportunity to work on a team with you so that I can show you just how quite how how high quality it is. And then you listen to what they say and then you say, okay, well let's move forward and let's hope we have that opportunity coming up soon. See in either case, all you're doing is putting the person on notice that you know what they said or what you think they said and that you don't agree, and that you are more than happy to be on a team with them. Usually, this is enough to stop the whisper campaign. Okay? And if it doesn't, you may, go back, you may have to go back and have the conversation again in a similar vein, uh, just using different words. And that's what we call the broken record, that you go back and you say the same thing in a little bit different way until the person gets the, the message that I'm not someone to be messed with. And you can hear, I didn't do it in an angry way. It was just, I want to clear up this misconception. So don't let there be uh, whisper campaigns behind your back. They can only hurt you, and it can only help for you to address it. I'll be back next week with another tip for how you can tell people to go to hell. And in the meantime, have a great week.